And the physics Nobel Prize went to uh, Sir Roger Penrose um, for discovering a black hole. And that's that's pretty powerful. That is, I mean, black holes, you know, uh, a bunch of dust. Um, on the pressure, or was there no pressure? I mean, there was no pressure on me when I watched the news, but he, he I'm not sure if he said he was thinking about dust if there's no pressure then it will be obviously sucked out uh, but if there is pressure then that needs to be released and uh, of course after you discover a couple of black holes your pressure will be released immediately i mean imagine i mean einstein let's face it i mean very very smart but he was a hulenstecher uh, the guy pleased a lot of women so those physicists you know they they might study 40, 50, 60 years. But when they hit the Nobel Prize, and not, not the prize itself, $10,000, shared by three, so it's 33,333 uh, periodically. Not, not a huge amount of money. Uh, if you, if it took you 60 years to discover a black hole. I mean, I think I was 17, in the back seat of an Opel Cadet, or Vauxhall Cadet, yeah. That was a black hole too, and there was pre plenty of pressure in me, which loaded up for seventy years. And after I, I didn't see, so it must have been black. It was dark, uh, but I didn't care which color it is. <laughs> I just penetrated it, and uh, then released everything into a gummy, of course. And uh, then run back to the house with socks to <laughs> find another. Don't, 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 don't. Right, that is that. So, um, congratulations for Mr. Uh, or Sir Penrose. And uh, I just get my uh, apple pie delivered. Believe or not, by my Kenyan rose.